2019 saw some pretty tasty food trends, but with a new year comes a new crop. And thanks to Whole Foods' list of 2020 food trends, this year is starting out with exciting new temptations. That's really what we're seeing out there in, in the great big world. Rachel Bukowski, product development team leader, says the first trend you'll see is alternative flowers for alternative diets. We saw this rise in alternative flowers come about because there was a hole in the market for people who were trying to follow a diet that really wasn't mainstream. Like keto, paleo, vegan, and gluten-free diets and people with food allergies too. When you think about the traditional baking category, they just have never been very inclusive of people who are on alternative diets. But with alternative flours, such as tiger nut flour, coconut flour, teff, plus almond, cauliflower, and coffee flour too. These alternative flours really allow them to have that cookie, have that pretzel, have that pastry without missing out on the taste. Another swap that's trending is soy alternatives. The reason why we're starting to move away from soy a little bit into some of these alternatives is because a lot of the brands just want to get away from using one of the major allergens. Plus, it's commonly known to cause digestive issues. What a lot of brands are doing instead of soy is using pumpkin, hemp seed, avocado, watermelon seed. Like soy, they provide protein, but they also offer a bit more. They're actually providing a lot of nutritional value. The final trend on Whole Foods 2020 list is different butters and spreads. What you are going to see is some more vegan, paleo, plant-based alternatives. Like chickpea butter. It's not just another fancy way of saying hummus. <laughs> it's a great alternative as a spread for, you know, bread, crackers, dips for veggies. Macadamia nut butter is another great example. It's a new year with new trends, so there's no better time to try some new food. Foods.